Hey guys, today I wanted to show you what I truly believe to be the best way to mask aircraft canopy. Um, when I first started, this is something that I personally struggled with. You know, I was doing the tape thing, cutting the strips and the squares and the circles, and uh, it was a pain in the butt, and I was never really satisfied with the results. And uh, I'm too cheap to buy the pre-cut masks, so um, I did some research, and I found this material called Parafilm M. It's used in uh, like laboratory settings uh, to seal vials and things of that nature. Um, and Amazon sells it, but they sell it in like really big rolls. Uh, I found this on Etsy. Um, a lot of horticulture uh, shops sell it. I'm not really sure why, but they sh they sell it in shorter sections. Um, I got ten feet for like less than ten dollars. Uh, this was two years ago though, so it might be a little more expensive now. Um, but, I mean, 10 feet, now I've barely used a foot. Uh, so, a little goes a long way. But I'll go ahead and show you how to use it. Um, just cut out a square. You can use a bigger piece if you don't want to use multiple pieces, but I already have this cut out. Um, so, we're going to take the backing off, if possible. There we go. And this is the most important part. You have to stretch it. And you'll see the texture change. Come on, camera. So you'll see the texture change, and you want to keep stretching until that texture is uniform. Just like that. And just let it relax for a couple of seconds. Um, I'm going to cut this hard edge, the unstretched edge, off. And now all you need to do is press it on your canopy. So the heat from your fingers and uh, just the pressure alone makes it cling. Just like that. Try and avoid wrinkles around the edges where you're going to cut. And get all the air bubbles out that you can near the edges as well. Uh, this is just a scrap piece of canopy I had. I just wanted to show you guys how well this stuff works. So we're just going to keep coming along, stretching and pressing. And smooth it out. You know, in the middle, it's not that big of a deal, but on the edges, you really want to press pretty firm. But, you know, don't crack your canopy. Um, so, don't bend it in anything like that, or you'll get those weird spider web cracks in it. And that ruins the canopy. You can't fix that. Alright, so, got that side done. Go ahead and cut this off. I'll also cut this excess off too, just so it's easier to work with. And do the same thing on the back. And again, if you want to use a bigger piece just to cover it all in one go, you can. I already had this uh, cut out, though. Don't want to be wasteful. So just keep pressing, 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 pressing. That's all this is. Again, trying to get all of the uh, air pockets out. If you get a really stubborn air pocket, you can take a needle and poke it and press the air, th air out there. Alright, cool. So 
So there we go. It's all pressed on. There's a few little air bubbles, but not that big of a deal. And now it's time to cut the frame out. So you can use an X-Acto knife to cut it out, but you know, with an X-Acto, you've got that really sharp point. Uh, and, you know, it's, it can dig in pretty easy to the plastic. What I use is actually a uh, safety razor for like shaving your face. Um, I broke it in half and shaved it into a, a sharper point. Um, and then I colored the tip with a permanent marker. Uh, it's really nice to have that contrast on that clear canopy when you're cutting. So with this, you don't have to use barely any pressure, and it goes through that wax, you know, well, like butter. So, this is going to be kind of hard for me to do on camera, but I will do my best. Let me see. Oh, that might be too bright. Let's see. All right. So we're going to take our blade and just follow the edges. And again, you don't need much pressure to cut this stuff. Just follow the edges. You go slow. If you go slow, you won't mess up. And, you know, obviously, be careful. Don't cut yourself. These things are literally razor sharp. And then once you get to a corner, just go a little further. Just a little further. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, cut the rest off camera, and then uh, I'll show you the results. Be right back. Alright, so I've got the frame cut out. And we're just going to remove the, uh, the edges here. There we go. All right, boom, there we go, that's it. So what I like to do is once, it, once it's painted, I'll go over the edges again with a blade just to cut the paint. Um, so when you go to peel it off, you get really sharp, clean lines. Um, and when you do need to go take it off, all you do, you can take a toothpick, whatever you want, and just start at a corner and roll it up a little bit and just keep rolling it or with your finger it doesn't matter you know obviously be careful not to scratch the canopy um, I've sprayed this stuff with really hot lacquer thinners like Alclad stuff like that I've never had it go gunky on me it's never turned to goo or anything like that um, so I hope this helps you out I know it helped me out a lot so thank you so much for viewing guys I hope you have a good day thanks bye